they have to do is lean on some scarlet surf, and he'll happily tell them everything. I... I didn't think of that. Not that I'm spoiling for a fight, but if I have to choose a place for one, then right here behind solid walls is it. True enough. so we wouldn't have time to join forces. Aye, you might be right. For sure Sigismund ain't no fool. A backstabbing swine, maybe. down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalitz to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye. Lucifer and all his minion. Who else, Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. 
Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalix. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the streets. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Men, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. What is it? Stop right where you are. Surrender! You'll have to answer for your law-breaking. No, please, I yield. I saw you stealing. And that's not all, is it? Don't you worry. We'll be taking all your other crimes into account, too. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Oh, come on, my friend. You know I'm in the service of Sir Radzik Kobola, don't you? Sure. And you think that makes you above the law? Think again. That much? I don't have enough on me. You don't pay, you go to jail. Put me in jail, then. Just the accommodation for you. Get moving. And spread your arms and legs. Let's see if you have anything else suspicious on you.
Come on, quick. What? Why? There's an army marching this way. If it's Sigismund, we'll need every capable man. All, all right, but, but what can I... Where... To the outer bailey. Quick! The self appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Truth. That's the bastard who led the attack of Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. You don't want to end up like them. I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir? Ratzik, of which you speak, is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then? that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tomberg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope you will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen.
My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Huh? My respects to you. Where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Sir Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here, too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. What happened in Kuttenberg? Kuttenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Because it's a fertile place with full granaries that could feed Sigismund's troops? <laughs> That's not it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it? Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth.
a bit more careful. Damn. True enough. And what did Betty have to say? Ever since Sigismund, the she was well can't even trust common pilgrims anymore. There's that many brigands roaming around. You never know if you'll come home from the fields alive. And the nobles are nothing about it. Did you see them? Aye. Not a thing. No business to appear of. What, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ be praised. Is there someone here who trades in goods? Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. She's good-hearted, especially if you come with some coin. <laughs> For anything else, you should see a fellow called Potava. Folk aren't too fond of him, because he's as surly as a wet cat. But he can get you just about anything. I saw him by the granary. You'll recognize him easy. He looks like he's never had a decent meal in his life. Good day to you. What do you need? Is there someone here who trades in goods? Votava's your man. <laughs> if he hadn't already... To be on the safe side and go back to the fields tomorrow. By tomorrow, all our heads will be on spies. Come and 
take shelter here at the castle. You never know if you'll come home from the fields alive. And the nobles are doing nothing about it. Aye, not a thing. God be with you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Not any longer. I have vital information for Sir Radzig from Sir Divish's spies. The fate of the Scalet's people depends on it. Sir Robard ordered me to leave immediately, so let me out quickly. A likely story. Better clear off before I lose my temper. Let me out, I say. Don't you know who I am? Someone is about to lose his teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something.
Sancte Nostre, qui es in Celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, veni.
Are you serious? Hey, watch it. I remember you. Are you serious? Hey, who's there? If I needed some food, who should I ask? Who do you think, young man? Me, of course. And if you want something extra, I could help you out with that too. I'd like to buy something from you. Of course, lad. God bless.
Mother of God, preserve us. We'll stay in the fields tomorrow. By tomorrow morning. Now what in God's name are you on about? I hear that's what them foreign soldiers do, and worse. The sword. Did you hear that nonsense? Vilma heard the guards on watch talking about it. Nobody's going to attack us, never mind for us. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone. Hey! Open the gate! There's someone here who trades in goods. Try Votava. He's as thin as a starving hound and about as cheerful. But he can get anything you want. I saw him by the local granary. Oh, sakra. It's hellishly deep here. I'm interested in your uh, services. And what is it you'd like? A 
bit of everything. Heal my wounds, have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundering. As you wish. Do you have the coin? That's too much. It's not worth it to me. As you wish. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. So, what are you interested in? A physician. I have a few wounds I desperately need someone to treat. But of course. Money first, though. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Look where you're going. I'd like to uh, order some. Uh huh. And what do you want? bit of everything. Heal my wounds, have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundering. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied.
Like they've already gone. Jesus. here. Entertainment. Great.
Oh god.
Why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do?